This is Fred Wall, the Visa Coach. Today's topic is how will your case be affected? Well, when USCIS runs out of money. The pandemic has not only affected you personally, but has also affected larger institutions, even government agencies like United States Customs and Immigration Service, USCIS. Because of economic and quarantine restrictions, applicants for green cards and fiancé and spouse visas have, well, like the rest of us, put their lives on hold. Now, this includes delaying submitting applications to USCIS for oh, immigration benefits. Now, USCIS is currently only receiving about, well, 40% of its normal caseload of new applications. And this is both good news and bad news. It is good news for you if you have applied already because your case is being processed faster because there are less cases to compete with well, for the attention of the USCIS officers. But it is bad news for USCIS. Since USCIS pays for its operations with application fees, well, after four months of the pandemic, after four months of, well, reduced sales, USCIS is out of money. 13,400 employees, about 70% of its entire workforce, have received furlough notices. And by the first week in August, well, there may only remain at USCIS a skeleton crew to handle your immigration case. Now, I am Fred Wall, the Visa Coach and I work for you to prepare and craft your applications to submit to U.S. Immigration. Now, sometimes callers ask me, do I fill in the forms for them or do they have to do it all themselves? Absolutely, it will be me filling in all the needed forms and putting together your application. And after we submit your application, I do not abandon you. I remain with you on this journey. I continue by your side personally helping and guiding you until that happy day that your foreign partner calls to say she or he is on the way. Now sorry to announce this but USCIS is in financial trouble and this is going to affect and probably hurt your case. At the end of this video I will advise what you can expect and what you can do about it. Now in the Visa Coach newsletter I reported well months ago that USCIS was processing cases very quickly. Now this was due to their officers receiving far fewer applications than normal. And while other businesses closed during the pandemic, well, USCIS did not. Yes, they were not allowing in-person meetings or interviews with the public, but their back offices continued to work uninterrupted. Basically, now they had plenty of staff, but less work to do. And that's why recent cases enjoyed faster processing. And if you had all of your evidences ready for your case, that was good news for you and a great opportunity to submit your application and enjoy speedier processing. But the party is over. USCIS is broke and they are running out of money. USCIS operates as a self-supporting fee-based agency. This means they do not receive taxpayer dollars to support their operations. Instead, they support themselves entirely by the fees you pay when you file your application. And their, their current application fee revenue is only about 40% of its normal level. And at the same time, well, their staffing is at 100%. So having done the math, USCIS expects to run out of money by August. They have asked Congress to bail them out. They want to raise fees, charge surcharges on top of the new raise fees, and want $1.2 billion in loans. USCS has asked Congress to approve higher across the board fees, including a huge $445 increase to apply for US citizenship, and also $545 for work authorization and $585 for travel authorization. USCS has also asked to add a temporary, well, 10% surcharge on top of any application fees charged. 
And finally, USCIS has asked Congress for a $1.2 billion loan to tide them over. And the temporary 10% surcharge should probably, would probably be applied until the money is paid back. In the meantime, USCIS has sent notices to 13,400 employees notifying them to expect to be furloughed in August. And if the loan falls through, well, these employees stay home. And green card and work and travel authorization applicants, well, have already suffered. USCIS previously contracted out the printing of green cards and work and travel authorization cards. The contract with the outside printing company, well, ended in June. So USCIS chose to not review, renew the contract, well, as they hope to save money by doing the printing themselves in-house. Well, but due to lack of funding, and probably planning, they have not hired new staff who knows how to run the printing presses. So until their budget problems are fixed, no more green cards, no more work authorization cards. And so far, 50,000 approved green cards and 75,000 approved work and travel authorization cards have not been printed, not issued to the applicants. Now this is a real problem because a lot of new immigrants need to work to support themselves and family and they may not even look for work until they have these cards in their hands. The fate of your application well, and many thousands more like yours, and the fate of USCIS now all lies in what Congress does. If Congress does grant the loan, and does so soon, USCIS can keep its employees working and can find a way well, to start printing green cards. And if that happens, and they are still getting, well, less cases, then for your case, you can submit it, if you can submit it soon, you can expect to enjoy faster processing at least until the pandemic is under control and new applications return to prior levels. Now, if Congress does not grant the loan, well, then expect all cases to slow to a miserable crawl. In either case, you are going to pay higher fees. And no matter what happens, submitting as soon as possible is still your best, choice, your best course. Depending on how soon you submit, you will most likely avoid the fee increases and any progress you make before any reductions in staffing, well, if they occur, will put your case that much further along the processing path. And always with U.S. immigration, it's first come, first serve. This was Fred Wall, the Visa Coach. Now, click here to sign up for our monthly newsletter and receive bonus eBooks. Here for YouTube's recommendation, here for the playlist of recent videos on immigration, and here to subscribe to my channel.